Well today I'm going to continue my journey uh, to the outskirts of Banbury. Um, I'm looking forward to checking out the town. I've driven through already and it looks pretty good so I want to be within walking distance and then I can spend a few days, uh, restrictions permitting, really having a good look around the place and getting to know it a bit more. So I'm just going to ready the boat and then I'll be away. I was struggling even to get off the bank there. The wind started a blowing and uh, I had to hop off the boat while it was going along and push the nose out again and hop back on again. But uh, well it's not meant to be too windy today. It's going to be a lot worse tomorrow, which is partly why I decided to cruise today. But uh, it's not ideal even today, to be honest with you. There are plenty of permanent moorings along here. And just past this bridge, there is a boatyard. Oh look, there's one painted a little bit like mine. This is a bit of a squeeze, thanks to someone moored a little bit too near the bridge. But I make my way past quite easily. It would be a different story if the wind picked up, I dare say. I'm so glad they leave these bridges in the up position and that the wind isn't playing havoc today. Well, I set off in the sun. Well, no. I unmoored the boat and made ready in the sun. By the time I set off it was cloudy and windy. And now it's raining. I've arrived at the first and as it turns out only lock of the day. Well that was the toughest lock gate I've opened since, well, since the last one. Some very deep locks Obviously there's a lot more wood on the gate, uh, can make it quite heavy depending on how it's sort of set. Here's another lengthy shot of me cruising into a lock, and why not? These steps that you can see either side can be used to save time by letting the crew off, if you have any.
but as I'm on my own, I continue into the lock. And make use of the lock ladder. I close the heavy old gate and keep an eye on the boat as I let the water in. Well, despite only half a paddle on one paddle, uh, the boat started to rise really quickly actually and I could see that the uh, button fender on the front was going to get stuck just on a little lip in the sort of rough edge of the brickwork at the bot bottom of the lock so I've got on the centre line and just managed to yank it back that little bit so it could just clear it but it, all it wants to do is just go forward at the moment it's okay now though because the uh, button fender cleared what it had to clear and it's um, on the sort of centre board on the gate now so I can relax a bit that's how it should be Another heavy gate, but slowly does it. Just hauling the boat through on the centre line because it's um, well set up to just do it like that. Then I'll just hop on once I close the gate. They certainly didn't build the modern bridges as nicely as the old ones, did they? Well, gone under the M4 again. I'd certainly be glad to leave that one behind, I tell you. There's no good trying to moor anywhere within half a mile of that. It would have been very tempting to turn a little bit early for that bridge but uh, I kept my nerve, left the turn till quite late and it worked a treat because it was on a bit of a funny angle.
looks to be plenty of Arnco here. I think I might give it a try. I'm not quite as far up as I was hoping to be, but I saw a nice bit of Arnco and I thought, you know what, why don't I just pull up here for now, tie a couple of ropes on and I can go along on foot and sort of check it out further up, see if there's any better spots or what have you. And uh, it's a lot easier to move up a bit further than it is to try and come back, especially when there's nowhere to turn around if you've got a 62 foot boat. So that's the plan. This'll do just fine. Coming up in next week's episode. I've got my saw where I'm going. Definitely need wellies.